I want to add a double tap because once you have it, you could have twice the amount of possible key presses. Let me get rid of the AI for now. And I'm going to go into the controls, the manual input, manual input script. First, let me set it up. I'm going to have a list of all the double tapped buttons, double taps. I'm also going to have a dictionary that tells you the timing required for the double taps, double tap timing. I'm now going to create a function called process double tap, taking the input key type as a parameter. First, you want to check if the keys in the dictionary, if it's not in the dictionary, we want to add it first. And the first addition is going to be zero. And if it is a zero, it's not a double tap in this frame. You want to look out for a double tap in the next frame. So if it's zero, we set up a new timing. And the timing is the current time plus 0 0.1 seconds or 0 0.15 seconds. If you press the same button again before 0 0.15 seconds pass, then it's a double tap, meaning time is less than what we have in the dictionary. That's a double tap. So let's add it to the double tap list. First check if it's already in the list. And if it's not in the list, that's when we add it to the dictionary. We also need a function to remove the keys from the double tap list. We're going to use this when you let go of the keys. So I'll call it remove double tap. Taking the input key type as a parameter. And whenever you let go, if you have the key in the list, you want to remove it because you already let go of the key. And we also need a list to keep track of which keys you've let go. So you can check for the next double tap. I'll create another list. I'll call it up keys. Meaning it's a list of all the keys that you've let go. So if a certain key is not in the list of up keys. When you let go, you add it to the list. So when you process a double tap, you want to make sure that the key is included in the up keys. And then once you set up the double tap timing, we're going to remove it from the up keys again. So you don't do this every frame. So we're only setting up the double tap timing only when it's the first press or when you've let go. Otherwise, everything is a double tap. A small mistake here. You want to make sure that it's not in the list before you add it. Here, let's also make sure that something is included in the list before we try to remove it. Just a little fail safe. Now I'm going to go up to the update where we're checking each of the key press. And every time you press something, you want to check if it's a double tap or not. So 
this is for turbo move up we're doing this every time a key press becomes true jump and attack that's everything and we do the same thing with the removal remove double tap again this is turbo move up Move down, right, left, jump and attack, okay. Let me also make the list public so we can see it. I want to check of the list of double tapped buttons. I'm going to go back and play. So here's our character. Here is our manual input in the list of double taps. So if I press double tap left, left is in the list. If I let go, it's gone. Same thing with the right. Okay, you have to be pretty fast with 0 0.15 seconds. Okay, I think all the keys are working fine, including the turbo, which is shift don't want to do that for Windows. So anyways, looks like the double tap register is fine. I'm going to try assigning it to running. Double tap running. So if double tap right is true, or if double tap left is true, true that's when we're also gonna turn on turbo if turbo is not turned on we turn on turbo when you double tap left or right Save and go back to Unity, and I'm going to try double tapping left or right. So here's now another option to start running without the turbo key. You can either double tap left or double tap right. To run. I'm going to try 0 0.18. A little more time for the double tap. Okay. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.